Good afternoon. This is Angela. Yes, I'm back. Um. Anyway, I just wanted to say good afternoon to you all. I'm going to do a resin pour. And I wanted to tell you there was a misunderstanding, I guess, with me and YouTube. And they were not letting me subscribe back to people that were subscribing to me. But now that is all fixed, so I'm back in business here. Anyway, I took this off. You see? You can always do that and reuse your cups. So you don't have to throw your cups away. Especially these. These are measuring cups. You see? I like these cups. I use them a lot for my resin. And uh, today I'm using JR uh, paste. And also I'm using the white base tint from Stone Co. It's a very good tint. I love it. That's the best white that I've used so far. So I'll keep using that. And this is a black by uh, Easy Flow acrylic from, Go I think it's from Golden. Uh, let me see. Yes, it is from Golden. So it's black. And there's a little bit of black. Not a lot. But uh, it's very nice and black. I love it. Anyway, this I've been uh, I've been stirring these already for like two minutes, and uh, I got so scared when that happened with YouTube that they stopped me from subscribing to people. I was like a little baby crying. My husband said, "Calm down," and I said, "They threw me out." <laughs> Guys, you don't know I'm such a baby. <laughs> Like, what did I do wrong? <laughs> My husband said, Maybe your usual self, you're being too friendly. I said, Yeah, I think that's what happened. I was being maybe too friendly. They <laughs> are from out of this cup of water. I had to put it in hot water because it was cold and stiff. And, uh, it's been cold down here, so that's why my paints, especially the JR paints, the paints are getting hard. Uh, oof. You got to be careful when you open these paints, because sometimes they have a very strong smell. And you want to make sure that you... Back in here, leave it there. Anyway, you have to make sure that you wear a mask if you allergic to anything although this is all non-toxic it's very good non-toxic paint so i wouldn't worry about it all right so i i take the bottom and it's very nice and even and i'm now gonna spread the resin the black resin all over the canvas Ooh, don't want to lose any resin that's the last thing i want to do is lose resin i don't like losing resin <laughs> I fight for my resin. Cost too much money. <laughs> this is more like a transparent black. I thought it was going to be darker, but, uh, let's see. I don't like the way these cups are marking the canvas, so I have to move the cups all the way out to the edge. Because that's one thing I don't like, is the marking of cups on my canvas. Especially once the resin dries completely. You don't want your cups marking your resin, you know, your canvas. You don't want any dips or anything on your canvas so here we go i'm just gonna keep hitting this up and i'm gonna put another color in here because it's gonna be a few colors but i'm trying to spread the black out a little bit more stretch it out mm -hmm. oh that's why sometimes by the end, 
of this core, I will put something in the middle to make it go up a little bit. So that way the resin goes to the edges as well because on the edges is really where you get the dimples. And I get more dimples, to be honest with you, with other resins, not with Stone Cold. So I have to be very careful which resin I decide to use and how I gotta take care of whatever painting I'm doing that day or what resin I'm doing that day. You just gotta pay more attention to the, to, to the edges and make sure you don't have those dimples. Sometimes they come right back, so you gotta keep patting them. Use copper and white, but we'll see how it turns out, right? So I got two gloves on, two sets of gloves on. So that I can now use the, the gun and uh, prep the prep the base color. And no. See that smoke? It must have touched the paint a little bit. That's why I had that little bit of smoke coming out. You don't want to touch the paint too much with the with your nozzle. Because if you paint the, uh, touch the paint with your nozzle, you may mess up your nozzle too. You don't want to do that. So. All right. I just want to come around here and see what it looks like. Yeah. Okay. Just want to make sure it's straight. You guys can see everything. Um. So far, it's looking good. Put on a little jacket. It's a little chilly down here, so I'm gonna cover my arms up because it's uh, chilly down here a little bit today. Uh-huh. You torch it a little bit. You burn it a little bit. You get to move the resin around a lot more easily. Because it kind of melts it, the resin. color on. This is the copper color. And I don't know why I chose copper, but I just wanted to do something different. A lot so I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this white so much white <laughs> I got put some down here
I don't know what I'm doing yet. I'm just making up stuff as I go. So bear with me. <laughs> we shall see what this turns out to be. Again, I usually I change my gloves only two times, but this time I guess I'm changing it three times. Yeah, I'm not rich, so I better stop changing them so much. Although my husband bought me how many four pay, four boxes of gloves, so <laughs> that doesn't mean use them more. spots and I hate those ball spots I mean they just kill me I hate them <laughs> the copper looks. I like the way the copper looks. Looking very pretty, that copper. Copper on this side. Copper, copper is such a beautiful, beautiful. Like once you put it on painting, the copper looks gorgeous. Amazingly gorgeous to me. Me, yes. Yeah, <laughs> the white is taking over in the copper. So, so, what can you do, right? Now, this is 
So you get some sort of, uh, you know, different texture to your pour. You don't want it all to look the same all the time. You want different textures. And I love different textures. I love to see different creations. I don't want to tilt it so much because I feel like if I tilt it, I feel like I'm going to lose a lot of my resin. And I don't want to lose my resin. I love my resin. I don't want to lose it. this one that I'm preferring to use more over the other because it's kind of thicker you know it's a thicker resin the other paintings that I don't want too thick so it all depends on what kind of texture you like for your painting this is really an abstract if I ever seen one a mosaic trick. <laughs> oh, it's turning out beautiful. I hope you guys can see it. So, these corners are good. Edges all covered. Just want to get a, 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 a dip period. Makes me angry. <laughs> that one too. Mm -hmm. Put my glasses so I can see really good what's going on here. And my canvas just tilt a little. Let me put it back
at all. But let me just give that a little hit there with the blowtorch. And um, I'll give you a close up. These little dips, you know, it's like you're going to be here all day now. Give me a break. I got a lot of cells in this one is because I put alcohol in every cup. Longest I don't know, I read somewhere you don't mix the alcohol and the dimethicone. But uh just gotta be careful with the alcohol not to put a whole lot in the fire. You know, you can start a fire, you know, because alcohol based anything alcohol based can start a fire. read a lot about art and everything and all the chemicals involved in this type of work. I think I'm done with this one. It's looking. There's a lot of colors going on in there. Like, what the heck is going on, huh? Mm, I'm just a colorful lady. Oh. Give you a close up. Mm -hmm. Sorry for my dirty floor. <laughs> All right, here you go. That corner, right, the left hand corner coming down. 
copper, white, and black. That's all it is. And it's JR's colors. And the white is the white base from uh, Stone Co., which is beautiful. I love that color. The white stays very white. That's what I like about it. And um, the copper is also from JR. And like the black, I tell you, is the is like golden, acrylic, easy flow type of paint. And the alcohol, I, I added to each color, except the copper. The copper, I didn't add any. See, I got a few blips here. I got a hit on them, you know. Just don't want to get my hands in it. So I'll hit on them once I uh, put on gloves again. Yeah. The blips around here. So you have to babysit it until it's completely dry, cured, dried, uh, before the one day, anyway. Stood all within this day, like today. I did it today, so today I'll be babysitting it. There you go, guys. Ta-da! I just like all, I like all these textures. It's so different. Textures in there. I just want to show you the one I did. I think it was the day before yesterday. I don't even remember. My purple one is drying. I just uncover it. And it's drying pretty good. The leaves, I put some resin on top of the leaf so they stay on. So that I did at the very end to put the resin on top of the leaf. But this one turned out really pretty i really didn't have to do any much work to the uh to the edges all right okay that's it guys talk to you later bye bye